In this video, we're going to talk about viewing, sorting, and searching through your iTunes library. You can see here that I've clicked on my music category and I'm looking through all of my music library's album covers in what they call a grid view. Grid view can be selected up here and is the third view in the four different possible ways that you can view your content in iTunes. In this view, I have a slider below where I can choose to make my view larger or smaller just by dragging the slider left or right. The first view here is known as List View, where you can see all my songs in a song list organized in columns. By clicking on the column, I can sort the column, and by clicking on it again, I can reverse sort it. I can move columns by click, dragging them left or right and letting go. Under the View menu, I can also choose View Options or press Command-J to add additional columns or to remove them from my view. To make a column wider, just simply click, hold and drag the divider bar between columns left or right. The next view is kind of like list view, but instead of just having a list of your songs, you'll notice on the left hand side that it will add artwork when available. The last view is known as cover flow. Cover flow is one of the most interesting views as the top part of your screen can show all your album artwork And below that, your library is displayed like list view. Between these two sections is a handle allowing you to change the split point in the screen. Lastly, we'll look at searching. You can search through your iTunes library by clicking in the search box at the top right and typing in a search. Let's type Beatles. Here you can see that iTunes has pulled up all my Beatles songs, allowing me to view my collection through CoverFlow or show any items with the word Beatles in it in the list below. To clear a search, click on the X. Next, we'll look at playing back media and talk about the playback controls.